Hi everyone, thanks so much for coming back to my channel. This is Tina with Tina's Craft Creations. I'm on today with a scrapbook.com order. Now this is going to be solely the uh, new Simple Stories Happy Hearts collection. Um, I did have it on a notification request on their website to let me know as soon as it became available. They had um, reached out to me, I think it was by email, and I ordered it right away. So the order came today. I just want to show you guys what I got. The first um, thing I'll show you is the 12 by 12 collection kit. This is 103 pieces. You get 12 double-sided sheets of cardstock, including a cut-apart element sheet, including cut-apart element sheets, excuse me, and a 12 by 12 cardstock sticker sheet with 91 stickers. All right, so we're going to go over the pages. And I did order a few extra um, 12 by 12 sheets just so that I have some extras because this collection is adorable, and I'm sure I'll be working with it quite a bit this um, season. So the first page is this um, basically a scrapbook layout page. It is a white sheet with a light pink border and you have some beautiful black and white roses. This one is called Forever Yours. Those roses are just stunning. Could fussy cut those and add those to a Maggie Holmes collection, honestly. <clears throat> On the back, you have this dark uh, navy blue. Actually, it's not navy blue. It's sort of like a dark blue with a purpley undertone. I'm not sure if that's showing up well on the camera, but it has these really pretty little flowers and different shades of pink and peach and that uh, turquoisey color that I love so much. So really, really cute. Now this page here is very reminiscent of Crate Paper's Main Squeeze collection. So this is so adorable. You have the little hearts, and it, this one is called Wink Wink, and there's a lot of the little hearts winking and smiling. It's so adorable. And then on the back, you have this really pretty peachy color with XOXO all over it. <clears throat> oh, this one I think is probably my favorite so far. I love this minty color again I've mentioned it a million times this is the color of my background my um, wall behind me my accent wall in my craft room one of my absolute favorite colors to craft with this beautiful turquoise it's not mint in my opinion this is definitely a teal aqua color um, very light shade of it because it doesn't have a green undertone to me it's more blue um, again that's just how I'm looking at this page but these really cute little typewriters and the little envelopes oh my gosh this is so so cute I love this page this one is called hello love oh I love this so much okay on the back we have like a ledger page and a peach on peach <clears throat> okay now this one definitely reminds me of Maggie Holmes this one is a really pretty floral, um, pink floral with a blue background and some nice green leaves with little pops of that turquoise colored uh, little tiny flowers. This one is called Sweetheart. Very pretty. And then we have another grid page with more pink flowers. All right, the next one here is that bluey purple background with the word love written all over in some different fonts and different colors, light pink, dark pink, turquoise, peach. This one is called Lots of Love. So adorable. All right, this one on the back is a pale, pale pink with a dark blue polka dot. Again, this is that blue that's sort of like a purpley blue. Oh, this is really pretty. Some labels. I'm definitely fussy cut these. This one is called Happy Heart Day. So it's just a bunch of different labels. So again, these would be perfect to fussy cut. I love the ones with the music notes and the florals. So pretty. I love the colors of this collection so much. I'm re and this is something, and this is totally off topic, but I've re I'm really surprised that Crate Paper hasn't come out with a new um, Valentine collection. They didn't have one this year and it doesn't seem like they're coming out with one for 2022 so I'm not sure if they've just discontinued Valentine collections or if it's because of the pandemic and um, shipment and order issues or whatever but it's just so strange that they're kind of like dipping out of the um, <laughs> Valentine uh, game. Um, I mean honestly they didn't come out with a new Halloween collection this year either so I don't know if they're just going to mainly focus on Maggie Holmes and Christmas. Um, 
but I guess we'll see. I'll get back to my uh, haul, but that was just something I was thinking about recently. Uh, on the back here, we have um, just a black and white font of just a bunch of different words, and some of them are highlighted in pink and peach and that turquoise color. Did I say, yeah, this the, the name of this one was, again, Happy Heart Day. I really like this one too. You could fussy cut the words and or the sentiments as well. This one is super cute. This one has a pale pink background with lots of little sweet treats. We have the little cake stand, the milkshake, or like boba tea, um, boxes of chocolates, macaroons, uh, super cute little cupcakes, a gumball machine, milkshake. That's really cute with the little cherry on top. This is a very, very cute page. This one is called Sweet on You. So cute. Now this one, I know exactly who's going to like this one a lot. <laughs> Cheryl, when you get your haul, you're going to love this page. So here's a beautiful pink with a white polka dot. So pretty. All right. Um, here we have some beautiful tags and it's just called tags. So we have um, some sentiments, a music note. This would make a really pretty tag flip. Just um, cut these out and embellish them just a little bit. And I love, this is one thing I love about this collection is they have added some cacti. Oh, I love it. I love the little turquoise scooter. This is really cute. And then of course on the back, it's just the plain back for the tags. All right, and then we have this one here. This is the journal elements. Again, they've added a cacti for me. <laughs> um, some chocolates, a little ice cream cone, a milkshake. So cute. The font reminds me of um, maybe, um, what does that font remind me of? That font really reminds me of another collection and now I can't think of it. Oh, oh, okay. This is my second favorite. I think after the typewriter one, or actually this might be my favorite. Look at these mixed tapes. Oh my gosh. As a child that grew up in the eighties, this is my jam right here. <laughs> I know Alicia from Love Letter Generation will really like this one as well. Oh, this is so cute. Look at those mixed tapes. Oh my gosh. I love them. And these are perfect for fussy cutting as well. Although, you know, this is why you have to order extra because then you're cutting up your cut aparts. So stinking cute. <clears throat> All right, here we have some more um, cut aparts. This is the three by four elements. That reminds me of the main squeeze. You guys have to tell me, who, what collection am I thinking of with this font? Because it really reminds me of a font. <laughs> it's a crepe paper font, I think, but I can't. I can't remember which one it is that has that. It might even be, was La La Love like that? I can't remember. A little delivery truck that says sending hugs and kisses. This looks like a garden party um, cake stand right there. Even the colors remind me of garden party. And there's another beautiful turquoise typewriter. And another mixed tape. So pretty. All right, and on the back, we have my favorite minty turquoise color um, with little daisies. So cute. Okay, here we have a mix of the two by two and four by four elements. There's another cactus. And this, this is like an all hearts radio um, or record player, excuse me. That's So I love how Simple Stories um, really does... Um, remind me a lot of some of the uh, crepe paper collections. Um, so cute because this is not American Crafts, right? Like they don't, it's not the same company, but they definitely, look at the little pink phone. So cute. But they definitely, um, I don't know if they have maybe some of the same designers or maybe some of the American craft designers left and went to Simple Stories. <laughs> but a lot of these collections are just very reminiscent of older crepe paper collections. This stripe is really pretty. The pink, the light pink, the dark pink, the peach. All right, we have the larger cut of parts. These are the four by six elements. That's really cute with the little succulents. 
Yeah, the, this pink floral here really reminds me of Maggie Holmes. There's a pink typewriter, so pretty. And then I like this one a lot. The love songs, the love notes, sweet treats, pink drinks. So cute. And this one has a really pretty pink floral on the back. Floral with little pink butterflies. It's beautiful. Okay, so that's the last of the 12 by 12 paper uh, in the kit. And then this is the sticker sheet. So again, we're really reminiscent of Main Squeeze. I love the macarons. I love the cacti. The little heart stickers. And again, I love that they give you lots of sentiments. Even that little pink mailbox is super cute. And then the little VW bug. This is such a cute collection. I'm so happy that I got it. I mean, not that I need more collections, but you know what? I'm a shopaholic and... It is what it is. <laughs> All right, so that's the paper. I'm going to show you guys the elements that I got to go with it. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you is the um, the puffy stickers. I'm going to take things out of the packaging. Sorry for the crinkling, but then you don't get as much of a glare. Um, let me find something white to put this up against for you. All right, so we have these really cute little stickers, the little sunnies. We have the little succulents, the little hearts with the faces. The little typewriter, pink mixed tape is super cute. The little bug, so cute. Even the camera with the florals on, it's really pretty. So that is the puffy stickers. So cute. All right, um, we have the decorative brads, of course, because Simple Stories always comes out with those. And again, I like how they give you not only the brads, but also a few pieces of um, chipboard. So, sorry for the glare. That little pink phone is super cute. The little cupcake. I even like the little strawberry. And then the little um, chipboard pieces. All right, um, we have the foam stickers. <clears throat> now their foam stickers are sort of like the like thickers that sometimes American Crafts will come out with where it's literally just sentiments. Um, the Wink Wink's cute. So lots of sentiments and little hearts. So cute. And then we have this other page. So. Now see, this font reminds me of um, Garden Party, maybe? I don't know. Definitely one of the most re more recent Maggie Holmes collections. Alright, so those are the um, puffy stickers. Oh, I do have a 6 by 8 paper pad I'll show you as well, but it's sort of buried in my pile, so that's why I started grabbing these elements first. I'm just taking everything out so you don't see much of a glare. Oh no, one fell out. Oh no, there it is. Okay, so we have the little balloons, the camera, again the cake stand, really reminds me of Garden Party, the little florals popping out of the envelope. The only thing I don't like about Simple Stories is they only give you the 6x12 on chipboard instead of a 12x12. 12 12. So that would be, you know, a really nice thing to have with these collections. It's just um, another, um, you know, 6 inches of <laughs> uh, chipboard from Simple Stories. But they're still super cute. Alright, so those... Are that I'm gonna um I did order both of the ephemera piece uh, packs of course so I'll show you these I'm gonna go ahead and show you all of them because I haven't seen anyone haul this since it's so new I might be the first one I guess we'll see <laughs> so we have the little um, scooter the uh, megaphone 
I think that's what this is called. A little radio with a megaphone. Um, some little hearts. The little peachy colored car with the balloons. Floral. A cacti. Or a cactus, I should say. A little banner. Here's um, the little radio that reminds me of All Hearts. Box of chocolates. We have some florals and love. Little flag. That one's actually not completely cut out. There we go. Um. We have a little pink phone, some sentiments. We I think there's going to be some hugs and kisses in here. A little airplane. There was another collection that I remember from not maybe a few years ago that had little um, airplanes, little paper airplanes. I love this little pink strawberry. So cute. There's some more hearts. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we have some little hearts. Some little sentiments in that little envelope. Florals. <clears throat> little sunglasses. <laughs> hey cutie cutie that's cute little cup of tea all right so here's some little sentiments some kisses we have kisses um if i can stop dropping them Wink, wink. Stuck on you. We have a little envelope. A little cupcake. You are so sweet. We have some more of those little hearts that look like main squeeze. That was a collection that I never actually got. I wish I would have, but I didn't. Now I wish I would have been able to play with that one. There's so many like little tiny pieces. We have some little socks with hearts all over them. Some more of those little hearts. And then a little like, XL hearts. Okay. There's some really tiny little pieces in here. These hearts cut out of like the music paper. A little piece of candy. Lots of love. Oh, I love this typewriter. A pretty floral heart. Another one of those flowers that reminds me of Maggie Holmes. A truck. We have another little, like a bonbon or something from a box of chocolates. We have some tiny, tiny little pieces here. Um, we have a little tiny, tiny heart. Another little heart. Some cherries and a tiny little X. <laughs> okay. So those are the happy hearts, or that's the bits and pieces, excuse me. And you do get um, 60 pieces in that one. And this one next is the journal elements. Or this one's called journal bits. All right, so we have this one. Okay, we have some more of those little tiny pieces, the little hearts, and some flowers. I'm trying to pick these little tiny ones up. 
I don't know about you guys, but I just combine my simple, all of my two packs of ephemera into one. So all those really pretty labels with the florals. Some little banner tags. A little ticket. Some more of those little banner tags. We have some little tabs. Another little ticket. Another little label. Some more little hearts. Some more labels. A tag. Another little label. Some more labels. And, ta and tickets. Well, this one's pretty. The little pink envelope. This one here is cute with the little paper airplane. Here we go, a little mixed tape. Some tags. There's that beautiful typewriter again. And the last one is this one here. Okay, so that's all of the elements. And then I'm going to show you what's in the um, 6x8 paper pad. So let's get this cut open so we can look at it together. All right. Now well, this one, um, if I can if I can get it open, we'll be okay. <laughs> Everything always wants to misbehave when I'm on camera. This one is 24 sheets of double-sided papers, including four designer prints. Okay. So we have this really cute uh, little love bug with the balloons. On the back you have that stripe. Here's that beautiful typewriter page. On the back you have the labels. And these are smaller so obviously you can still cut them out. This one is that lots of love page. All of the different um, fonts. On the back, you have the little mixed tapes. You have this one here, the pink typewriter. On the back, you have the little X's and O's on that peach background. Here's the cute little heart face with the faces. On the back, you have that peach grid. Okay, there, there's that floral again. Pink polka dot or pink with blue polka dots. There's the little sweet treats. And then you have the little sweet treats on the back. That one's worth flipping over. It's so cute. All right, and then there's the, the white one with the floral with the uh, little daisies, hugs and kisses with the grid with the floral. Here's the little sentiments that are highlighted in different colors with the white with the pink floral. All right, and then we have some of the cut aparts. With the floral on the back, there's some more cut aparts. with the pink polka dot, white, pink with white polka dots, and then it just repeats. Okay, um, so with that order, I did get a free scrapbook and card uh, magazine, which I will flip through, um, you know, after the video, but this was a free one. This is winter 2021, so I've never gotten a free magazine from scrapbook.com, so maybe this will give me some tips for homemade cards because I don't make cards very often. Um, but it looks like a pretty interesting little magazine.
so I will uh, definitely flip through this and hold on to it to get some inspiration. There's my kitty saying hi, saying hi to everyone. It's almost time for his dinner, so he's uh, coming down to the basement to check on me. <laughs> yes, I'm talking about you. <laughs> All right, so yeah, um, this is that magazine that I got for free. If anyone has any questions, please let me know. If you haven't already, I'd greatly appreciate if you would consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.